celebrating today the memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Let's begin our celebration together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let's pause. Call to mind our sins, but God's willingness to die for us, to bring us forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You come to us as Savior of the world and Prince of Peace. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And you feed us with your word and with your sacraments. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that, fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain, which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the just is smooth. The pain of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your little and, type and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you make our, our peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cried out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth writhes and cries out in her pains, so where are we in your presence, O Lord? We conceive and writhe in pain, giving birth to win. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth, the inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth, but your dead shall live. Their corpses shall rise, awake and sing, you who lie in the dust. For your dew is a dew of light, and the land of shades gives birth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. You, O Lord, abide forever, and your name through all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for it is time to pity her. For her stones are dear to your servants, and her dust moves them to pity. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, from heavens the Lord looks down on the earth. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creature pre Creator, creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Come to me, all who all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. 
us that with him and with his help and support our lives can be easy for his burden that he places on us is easy and light he doesn't demand great things of us to do on our own what he does instead is he empowers us to do great things. We're not on our own. It is with his help, with his support, with his care that good things happen. The prophet Isaiah tries to present the same message that if we only trust in the Lord, then we will succeed. It's when we try to trust in ourselves and our own powers and our own abilities outside of the Lord that we're doomed to failure. Mary of Lassalette offers the same basic message. She says, you know, look at people. They try to do it on their own. They don't go to church. They don't care. They have no place for God in their lives. They're miserable. But if you're converting, if you trust then all will be Farming will become a simple way of Generosity, we pray. Lord, we are praying. That nations harried by violence and want may find relief and aid, we pray. Lord, we are praying. That prophets of peace may dissuade proponents of war, we pray. Lord, we are praying. That the sick, especially those suffering from coronavirus, may keep vigil for God's healing presence, we pray. Lord, that our spirits may yearn for God's righteous judgment, we pray. Lord, that those who lie in the dust of the earth may awaken and sing before our God. We pray in particular this morning for Pedro de Loebe and for the departing members, our own family and friends who we mentioned now by name. For all the party, we pray. Lord, and together we place our prayers before the Lord as we pray for locations and say, God, our Father, we give you thanks for calling us to embrace the gift of life and to share it. As once through Jesus the Christ, you chose the first disciples to proclaim the good news and put out your spirit upon the church. We know us now in our vocation and our mission of reconciliation. 
with the same contact built in the hearts of many young persons that they may generously respond to the needs of our brothers and sisters after the example of Mary, the beautiful lady of love's life. Inspire many women of our time the desire to be light and salt in the church and the world. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord God, all creation, for through you this we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and we come with our spiritual drink. Let us come spirit and country, husband, and sympathy, O Lord, may I sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. And wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity, and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. Receive, O oh Lord, we ask the prayers of your people, with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son, no petition may, be, may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks for your mighty deeds and exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things, and extended the abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the host of angels, adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy them for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples as he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, and he gave it to his disciples, as he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for any for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be here in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. 
bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis Southwell, with John, our bishop, with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep for the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Who wrote me that I stand in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the same command and form of my teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, <coughs> graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, and peace I give to you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace and the love of the Lord be with you always. It's off to one another, some sign of the Lord's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we, called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am unworthy that you should enter into my room. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we receive these heavenly sacraments, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we, who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May our God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Glorifying the Lord by your love. Thank you, God.